happy 20th anniversary.
tayo po nito mayo. Anda na po ba tayo magsiawit? Amen. 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 He is beautiful and wonderful God. Amen po ba? Yes!
you, Lord. We thank you, oh God. We thank you, Lord.
Oh, yeah. 
natin ang aming mga labi, ang iyong kabutihan sa aming mga karamdaman, sa aming mga pinagdadaan ng Panginoon. Ikaw ay tapat. Ikaw lamang Panginoon. Lord, hanggapin mo mataas na papuri, pasasalamat, pagdakila, pagsamba sa pangalan ng iyong anak na si Jesus at ang lahat
Si Yahweh ay tunay na dakila, marapat na papurihan, higit sa sino mang Diyos, siya'y dapat na igalang. Ang Diyos ng sandipot ay pawang mga Diyos, Diyosan. Si Yahweh lang ang may lika ng buong sangkalamitan. Siya'y puspos ng karangalan at ng kaluhalapian. Ang lakas niya at kagandahan ay sa templo mamamasdan. O si Yahweh ay purihin ang lahat sa daigdigan. Purihin ang lahat niya at kanyang kaluhalapian. Ang pagpuri ay iuukol sa ngalan niyang banal. Tumulog sa kanyang templo at handang han, paghandugan ng alay. Kung si Yahweh ay dumating sa likas niyang kabanalan, Marap sa nanginginig ang lahat sa sandibutan. Si Yahweh ay siyang hari sa daigdig ay sabihin. Sandibut ay matatag na kahit ito ay ugain. Sa paghatol sa nilika, lahat pantay sa paningin. Lupat langit ay magsaya, humugong ang kalaliman. Lahat kayo na nilikhang na sa tubig ay magdiwang. Ang bukirin at ang lahat ng naroon ay sumigaw. Pati mga punong kahoy sa galak ay mag-awitan. Pinakalast verse ay si Yahweh ay darating na upang lahat ay hatulan at kanyang paghahariin ang sakdal na katarungan. Salamat sa Diyos. Amen. Pwede na po tayong mga po. Maraming salamat po. At si Sis Baby Rose. Ngayon po ay... Tinatawag ako si Pastor Prisco para po sa ating sermon. Ang pagmagat po ng ating sermon ay walang iba kundi ang mission ng Emmanuel, knowing Him and making Him known. Right. Yeah. Ang salamat, uh, Ibi Rose, pagbasa sa ating text. And we praise God that <coughs> the Lord led us to this theme for our anniversary. Uh, kilala din ang Diyos at siya ipakilala. Knowing Him and making Him known. Uh, based from the passage that we have read in <coughs> Psalm 96, verses 1 to 3. Uh, this uh, message is about understanding the greatness of God and declaring Him to others. That is what it says in Psalm. It says, uh, declare His glory among the nations. There are two implications about our theme of knowing Him and making Him known. The first implication is something we do not know. So, ganun lang po, hindi natin pwede ipakilala uh, sa iba yung bagay na hindi natin alam. So, first, we need to be intimate and to know more about that. And then, responsibility is what needs to be done about that whom we know. Ibig sabihin, Intimacy is connected to responsibility. Uh, we cannot make known to others what we do not know, but if we know something, we are excited. Excited to share. Yung mga in love ng mga tao, uh, they want to get married, tapos uh, in love sila, tapos ikikwento nila. Kung ano yung mga na in love sa buhay nila, and there are the two truths about God. First is God is the object of our affection or our adoration. As siya yung ating mahalin, kilalanin. Pangalawa, God is the subject of our conversation or proclamation towards others. So, affection, siya yung ating pinamahal, kilalanin, makilala, tapos siya rin ang ating ibabahagi, ibupinto sa mga tao. And this is a very uh, interesting thing because uh, uh, ito po yung malaking hamon para sa atin. Dahil po sa ating kapanahonan ngayon, it, uh, tayo pa ay puno-puno ng mga usaping COVID, usaping politika, usaping trabaho. So, ang tanong, Ano ba pinag-uusap natin araw-araw? Hindi pa rin, Bruce Kubin, trabaho, inis sa trabaho, yung gano'n. Uh, I think we need to change in our, in our mindset. Nais natin mapag-usapan at may bagi ang katangian ng Diyos, ang kagandahan, ang kabutihan ng Diyos. Na hindi man lamang natin naalaala o napag-usapan ang mga katangian, katangian kalawalatian, kagandahan at kandakilaan ng Diyos. So our thing is, knowing Him, and making him known. So first is knowing. 
what do we need to know about them? So in our outline, so there are three things we need to know about God, and also there are three things about how we make God known to others. See po? Sa isahin natin. Una, what do we need to know about God? First, God has revealed His glory through creation, or God is creator. So yun ang una natin, uh, we have to know God that God is creator. Siya po ang pagpapanilika. It says in verse 5, For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. God is creator. He created us. Everything in the world exists because of God. And it's not only in verse 5, it says in verse 10, Say among the nations, the Lord reigns, the world is firmly established, it cannot be moved because of God. And then, other verse passages that declare God as creator, Psalm 19 verse 1, The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the works of His hands. And also in Psalm 139 verse 14, I praise you because I am carefully and wonderfully made. So yun po ang daytang and many other verses in the scripture to emphasize that God is creator. We are in this world because God is the one who created us. Everything in this world, the heavens and the earth, and even our own personal uh, being. So, creation reveals God's purpose and power. Yun po ang ibig sabihin na dahil siya ang lubika sa akin, meron siyang purpose. In other words, uh, we exist in this world because there is meaning and purpose in our existence. Na ang sanglibutan po ay hindi lamang uh, gano'n, merong uh, na araw, tapos everyday, Monday hanggang sa Sunday, tapos uh, January hanggang December, paikot-ikot lang. Hindi po. It, the world is moving towards God's desired goal. Because God has a purpose. It is not running aimlessly, but moving towards the purpose of God. So, lahat ng mga pangyayari, COVID, politika, change of prime minister, election, everything is according to the plan and purpose of God because God is our creator. And so it is God also who rules and controls the universe. The world is firmly established. We are not at the mercy of people and circumstances. Our lives are in the hands of God. So, sino pa nag-control sa mundo? Hindi po ang Japan, ang China, o ang Amerika, o Russia. Hindi. It is God who controls. And uh, our lives are in the hands of God. We are not at the mercy of the politicians or the businessmen. And then, second thing about creation is that creation reveals God's wisdom and God's beauty. Because as creator, uh, He created everything beautiful in this world. That is why in Psalm 139 verse 14, sabi po, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. The, the wonder of God are displayed within our bodies. So, uh, we do not need to go to other parts of the world for ad admiration. Because our bodies are a testament of God's wisdom and beauty that elicit admiration. Di ba meron tayo mga seven wonders of the world? Pupunta tayo doon, o sa Burakay, pupunta tayo sa Mount Fuji. Parang tinitingnan natin yung mga wonders. Wonders, no? Huwag na, ang layo pa doon, magastos. Tingnan mo lang sarili mo. Pero siguro, parang sabihin natin na sawa-sawa na ako sa sarili ko. Wala na ako nakita. Tingandahan sa sarili ko. So, the beauty, the wonder of God, yung ating mata, yung pilit mata, yung ating pilit mata, yung mata. The wonder of God is displayed in us. And then, 
another indication, no one can deny that. Because the creation is a testament of the presence of God. Mga ideas, people who do not believe God, who do not believe in the existence of God, no matter how they try to deny there is no God, everything reveals there is God. It is their problem that they do not believe. That is why in Psalm 14 verse 1, it says, The fool says in his heart, there is no God. Yung mga mangmang lang po ang nagsabi mo lang Diyos. Because everything reveals the creation, our own body reveals there is God. So that is the first thing we need to know about God. God exists. God is the creator. There is power and a presence of God. There is beauty and wisdom of God. Secondly, we need to know God has revealed His glory in Christ through redemption. God is Savior. Not only Creator, but also Savior. It says in verse 2, Proclaim His salvation day by day. Hindi lamang proclaim that God is Creator, but His salvation day by day. Uh, he will judge the peoples with equity. And in verse 13, He comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the people in His truth. It talks about salvation. Creation, then salvation. Creation, universe, heavenly bodies. But salvation about, talks about our sin, the judgment of God. Salvation, uh, happened because man had committed sin. Before that, everything was perfect. Kahit po, wala namang problema, wala namang kaligtasan. Dahil ka nagkaroon ng uh, kasalanan, kaya magkaroon ng kaligtasan. So, the glory of God is revealed in two areas, creation and salvation. Jesus Christ, as God, came to earth in order to provide us salvation. Because all have sinned and are subject to God's judgment. Lahat nagkasala. Kaya, uh, ang kalawalatian ng Diyos ay may kita po natin. In the person of Jesus Christ who came to earth. So therefore, it is not enough that we exist or we work and have income. Man needs to be redeemed. Hindi lamang po sapat may trabaho, may asawa, may pamilya, uh, may beauty, uh, physical, may income, may bank account. Hindi po. We need to be saved. And this is the reason why Christ came to earth. So, hindi lamang sapat po na ang tao ay humihinga, kumakain, and dito sa libutan, kailangan malitas. And this is the reason for Christ becoming a man, Emmanuel. That is with us. Diba? To pay the penalty of our sins through His death on the cross. That is why it says in John 1.14, we have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. So in Christ, the glory of God that was revealed in creation is now revealed in redemption through the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, because it is very amazing na ang Diyos ay nagkatawang tao. Di ba po? Mahirap yun. It's a great sacrifice. Para bang tao, nagkatawang itis. <laughs> Ito mahirap yun upang abutin mo ang pangailangan ng ipis kung ayaw maniwala subukan nyo so that is the the mystery of God who became a man in the person of Christ and this is the greatest transaction that happened on earth that someone died on our behalf and it is God himself ang Diyos mismo ang siyang pumalito. Because no person can save himself. No person would qualify to be the savior uh, of the people in the world. It is God who provided the savior in the person of His Son, Jesus Christ, who is God and at the same time became man. And it is by faith in Christ that man is saved from condemnation. So, dalawa na, no? We know God as Creator, Pangalawa, God as Savior. Third, uh, God has revealed His glory in the believers through spiritual transformation. God is transformer. 
I don't know if this is the right word. He transformed people. Na ang kaluwantian ng Diyos ay pinahayag sa mga, sa buhay ng mga mananapalataya sa Panginoon. So, ulit natin. His glory is revealed through creation, material things. His glory is revealed through redemption, spiritual things, Jesus Christ. Thirdly, His glory is revealed through transformation sa buhay ng mga mananapalataya. Through the lives of uh, people, believers of God. It says in verse 13, Let all creation rejoice before the Lord, for He comes. He comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples in His faithfulness. In other words, believers of God are people who live in righteousness. It's not only that uh, we have assurance of eternal life, hindi lamang nagkaroon tayo ng kaligtasan, kundi tayo ay binago ang ating ugali. Sa Sibano, hindi lamang na ay kaluwasan, kundi ibago ang batasan. Rhyme, kaluwasan ang batasan. Sa Tagalog, kaligtasan at ugali. Indicating spiritual transformation, He will judge the world in righteousness and the people in truth. Uh, in, so, believers in the Bible, believers are transformed into the likeness of Christ's glory. Tayo'y binago upang tayo'y makaroon ng bahagi sa kanyang kaluwang atyan. 2 Corinthians 3.18 And we, who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory, are being transformed into His likeness with ever-increasing glory which comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. So, yun po ang sa ating buhay, hindi lamang tayo binigyan ng kalitasan, ng katiyakan, kundi tayo binago ng Panginoon. Hindi, hindi binago yung ating itsura ng Panginoon. Yung ating yung ating pamumuhay, yung ating mag-iisip yung ating pananalita. Yes. Diba? Yung ating ugali. Everything. Now, if, if the glory of God is not present in your life, and you do not experience transformation, hindi kayo nakaranas ng pagbabago, ano ba po? Anong klaseng tao kayo? <laughs> because the glory of God is revealed in us. As believers uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ, therefore, we are also the bearers and the clearance of His glory na sa ating paglalakad, sa ating pagtatrabaho, araw-araw, may ipakita, malaman ng mga tao, kapitbahay, kasama sa kaisya, na tayo ay mga tao, binago ng Diyos. Yeah. In John 17.22, sabi ni Jesus, Father, I have given them, the believers, the disciples, the glory that you gave me. Napakaganda, di ba? Sinabi niya sa Ama, Ama, binigay ko nasa kanila ang kalawang hatian na nasa akin. So we are the bearers of the glory of God and we are the declarers of the glory of God. In Sikam, Thessalonians 2, 17, He called you, this is Apostle Paul saying, He called you to this through our gospel, according to Apostle Paul, that you might share in the glory of of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, John 17, it is Jesus speaking to the Father. I have given them the glory. Then this is Apostle Paul speaking. He, God, called us to this through the gospel that we may share in the glory. So, later on, the glory of God is revealed through creation. See God? The glory is God visible through salvation. Third, the glory of God is visible through spiritual transformation. Kaya nga po, hindi basta-basta ating pagiging Christian. Tayo po ay mga tao ng papahayag sa kalawalitian ng Diyos sa ating araw-araw ng pumumuhay kahit po saan tayo punta. So this is a great challenge. Now, we do not only receive the glory, but we need to declare. So how do we make 
God known, how we declare the glory of God through creation, through redemption, and through transformation. How? There are three. First, masayin natin, sabay. We make God known through singing, worship, and adoration. It says in verses 1 and 2, Sing to the Lord! A new song. Praise His name. Verses 7 to 9. It says, Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due His name. Bring an offering and come into His courts. Worship the Lord in the splendor of His holiness. He talks about worship. Singing, adoration, worship is a way of declaring the glory of God. It is a way of making known the glory of God through our singing, through our worship, through our adoration. Natin po ay pahayag. Ang kalimangatian ng Diyos, ang kagandahan ng Diyos, ang kapangyarihan, ang kapalitan ng Diyos, sa pamagitan ng ating pag-awit, sa pamagitan ng ating pagsamba, sa pamagitan ng ating pagpupuli sa Panginoon. So therefore, singing, worship, is a way of making God known or declaring Him. We do not sing for ourselves. We do not sing to impress people. Amen. Tayo po ay umaawit hindi para sa atin. Ay hindi para magiging sikat tayo sa iba. Hindi. Tayo umaawit para sa Panginoon. So, we sing for God and we sing about God. In appreciation of the beauty of God's character and in appreciation of the greatness of His work. So tayo po ay panahon na tayo maawit. Tayo po ay nag-aawit. Pag luwalhati, pagpupuri sa Panginoon sa kanyang pagandahan, kanyang kabutihan, sa kanyang ginagawa para sa atin at sa kanyang kapalit. So yun po, hindi tayo maawit para sarili at hindi tayo po maawit para sa iba. And then, secondly, we make God known through verbal pro proclamation, evangelizing. Evangelizing. Itong sinabi in verses 2 and 3, Sing to the Lord, praise His name, proclaim, proclaim His salvation day by day, declare His glory among the nations, His marvelous deeds among all people. It is verbal proclamation. Hindi lamang tayo umawit, kundi sabihin natin, ibahagi natin, i-preach natin, i-Bible study natin ang kanyang kaluwalhatian. And this evangelizing is a regular activity or a lifestyle that si Nabi proclaim his ambition every day, every moment. It is a lifestyle. Pagpunta mo sa Kaysia, sa halip ng mga chismis-chismis, away-away, you declare the glory. Pero huwag kang magbabusta dito, magpukbol ka sa trabaho mo. Uh, Ipapahayag mo sa, sa mga tao about the salvation that you have. It is a, a day-to-day activity. In other words, evangelizing is not an option. It is not an addendum, addendum for the church. It is a regular activity like worship. It is a regular activity like breathing. So, it's not a program, it is a lifestyle. Kaya, we don't have to resign from work in order to be a pastor. I mean, you can evangelize every day for opportunity na ibigay na nyo. Kaya sabi, day after day. It is a regular activity. And then, evangelizing is also for all places. It says, declare His glory among the nations. Eh, magpunta tayo sa Mikawa, sa Hikina, sa Gifo, sa Tsunidia, sa Sambaw, mga lugar natin, uh, sa, uh, sa Gata, sa Gata, marami. Dito sa Oharo, uh, doon sa uh, Kasugay, uh, sa Tita Naguya, Kumaki, hindi ba gano'n, di ba? Uh, Philippines, uh, Japan, all throughout the world because God's mission is for, for the world. God's mission field is the world. The gospel is for all places. Pupunta tayo doon sa mga tribes. 
Doon sa Pilipinas, mayroon tayong gawain doon sa, sa mga mountain. Uh, in, in Cebu, we have a church that from the town, we drive uh, one hour to the mountain, at the top of the mountain, before we walk from 8 o'clock. From 7 o'clock, we, we drive to the mountain. At 8 o'clock, we start walking 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Four hours we walk. Pero ngayon, mayroon na kabahabal niya. Pero noong maglalakad kami. Uh, because there were people who are interested in the gospel. Four hours. So kaya mag-worship doon, at least two hours. Ang worship, kasi yung mga naglalakad, malayo rin. Pupunta doon, maglakad sila ng three hours. Balik, three hours, six hours. Tapos ang worship, one hour lang. Magkalit sila. <laughs> so, we declare uh, God's glory to all places. And evangelizing is also for all people. His marvelous deeds among all people. Not individual people, but people's group. Uh, tribes. Manubo tribes. At Banwa. Uh, uh, Maranao. So, in one country like the Philippines, there are so many people's group. Sibano, Kilokano. Because in the book of Revelation, in heaven, every tribe, every tongue is represented. So, the gospel evangelizing is regular activity, day to day, for all places and for all people. And then, so the lesson of God's concern is for everyone. The gospel is for all uh, people. So the lesson is, it is not enough that we worship God. Adoration must lead to evangelization. So hindi lamang po sa pati, bisan din tayo masamba. Uh, dito, kundi po sa ating buhay, uh, we have opportunity to evangelize to God's people. Because the Bible declares, there is rejoicing in heaven among angels over one sinner who repents. Nag, Alleluia, praise the Lord, nag-worship sila doon po ang maraming sa langit sa isang tao na tumagap at nagsisisi. Amen. And also in Revelation 7, it talks about in heaven, every tribe, every tongue, mga Sibano, Ilocano, mga Isaya, mga Sabarino, is represented in heaven. Then, so, we make God known through singing, worship, we make God known through uh, evangelizing. And lastly, we make, we make God known through righteous living or character. Therefore, nakaitindi tayo sa salita. Marami ng mga piti. Marami ng mga hindi nakapagsalita. Ngunit nakita ang, ang Panginoon sa kanilang buhay. Ito na po yung character. In other words, believers are to live righteous lives and in truth. Ipamumuhay po natin yung katuluhan. Yung matuwid na pamumuhay. Dahil ito ay paraan upang ipahagin natin ang Diyos sa ibang tao. Hindi nila nakikita ang Diyos. Kung hindi ka marunong magsalita, hindi ka marunong mag-Bible study, mag-Evangelism, you live a righteous life. And people will be impressed about your life. And salvation has its goal for the glory of God. In Ephesians chapter 1, it says, The Father has chosen us to the praise of the glory of His grace. And the Son, Jesus Christ, has redeemed us that we should be to the praise of His glory. And the Holy Spirit has sealed us unto the praise of His glory. So, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, is working sa ating buhay for His glory. That is why in 1 Corinthians 10.31 Whatever you do, do it all from the glory of God. Kung ano man yung ginagawa natin, kumakain, nagtatrabaho, nasa tiktok, tiktok, namparampa, do it all from the glory of God. Because we make that known through our righteous living. So, the lessons are as follows. Una, we are the best models on earth. Because we reflect the glory of God. 
Kaya bawal ang pasaway. Pangalawa, we are the most beautiful and handsome people on earth. Being transformed in Christ likeness with ever increasing glory. Bawal ang pangit! Ang dami, hindi ito ba? Kasi kaya tsura, marami na tayong disqualified. Bawal ang pangit na ang dami. We are the most beautiful handsome people. Hindi po, sensura. <laughs> sensura rin, hindi ba? <laughs> And thirdly, we cannot take life for granted. We have a serious and sacred duty to reflect the glory of God. Bawal ang pa, baby, baby lang. <laughs> Bawal ang punas na parampalama ay kain na ang sikat sikat. We have a very serious duty to reflect the glory of God.